Hey guys, welcome back to SP Tales. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn this cool animation. Guys, please watch this video till end just to support my channel. Okay, so now without wasting any time, let's go do our tutorial. Okay, so now we are in Cinema 4D. I have this nice background. Okay, so first we need one our multiple splines so go to side view select this paint tool create anything in my case I am making this SP shape ok you get this one I already created one which is this little smaller one. So I'll just delete this one. Okay. So now we have one spline. Okay. Next we add one cube. Size take 40. see this is a bit small and uh, edges uh, edges we need a little you know curvy so check on this thing and make the radius of uh, radius one and subdivision three that's okay now go to these segments segments go to display you can see if inside this option See, these are the segments. So, or not this one, these are the fillet. But, yeah. We need to add some segments. So, just add two. two. Okay, that's it. See. Okay. Now, go uh, select this thing. That's okay. Go to MoGraph and select this cloma. Put that cube inside the cloner like this okay now select cloner in mode see in object mode and stuff linear select this object okay and see in object the black in the in this box select that uh, sp spline drag and drop it into this box like this you will get this kind of okay. Um, again, what we do just go back to normal shading, okay. And now, see distribution instead of count, we select step, then you will get this kind of thing, all right. Now, we just reduce this tape so make it. 25 that's okay you can read this is s and p so depend on uh, your text you can just reduce or increase this step amount okay now go to transform in rotation i'll take minus 10 0 it's okay and uh, this rotation minus 25 Now select this clone, go to MoGraph, inside this uh, effector, select formula effector. See, it's funky nice. When you go back to zero and play, it will give you this kind of animation. But we don't right now we don't want that. Okay. So select this formula, go to parameter. We don't want any animation in position. So just uncheck this. Now uh, not even scale. So check. Check this rotation. We are going to change the rotation and make it to six. to zero. So you made this variation. Okay. Now 
one more thing is left half to do effector and see formula this is the formula so instead of 360 360 if you put 360 and play anim uh, play this animation it's a bit fast see we need to slow it down that's why we just reduce this 360 to just 90 okay and now if you play it is playing well but it's not in loop so if you want to make it, this animation in loop make sure that your timeline is around 120 frames long okay now you go back to zero and hit play button you will get this kind of animation see it's in loop Right now, now we quickly give some material. Okay, one more thing, guys. This cube, we don't we want some variation, so we just do hold control and drag it down just to duplicate this. Okay, now, okay, just add this sky and add this material to the sky. Paint for a background. This is gold for one cube and another glass material for another cube. Okay, now we just quickly add the light. If you do area light, is that and just drag a bit up, rotate it to 90 degree. Uh yeah. Okay, just position it. Ah, one more thing select this light, go to details, and fall off. Take this one inverse square. Okay, and uh, yeah, go to slide inside shadow area shadow okay now mm, yeah this play once yeah, so we'll get this kind of animation rotation is fine okay so we just hit, uh, take one render let's see how it looks oh but before that one second guys before that go to setting and as as always go to entirely geometry to best and this time i'll add some some nut i'll add this global animation okay now hit render I think uh, it's so empty background. So what we can do is we just add one element. So in that case, I'll add this torus. Okay, torus, torus, um, three fifteen. This thing with hundred. I radius just we don't want this much. So just two centimeter. Pipe segments, I think it's okay. You can reduce it because it's too thin. So I just hit five. Yeah, we don't want actually four. And orientation plus Z. Okay, I just position it well. Okay, now hit random. Okay, so you can see it is nice render, but one thing that we forgot to assign uh, material to this torus. Okay, so just quickly we add this gold material to this torus. Yeah, and hit render.
Okay, that's it. I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe our SPTS channels and uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thank you.